This video is an attempted look in the day of a life of a Rob Rob, which is really not so typical. So you'll just get what today brings you. Um, and like they said, what day is typical? Do we have typical days? I think, you know, as crazy as it is, the random has become normal. So last night in San Diego before we take off to Panama. So, and crazy enough, we do have space for some more people, so maybe we can get, hook you up with a last second work exchange discount. Hit us up at robbraws at gmail.com and enjoy our day today. Team Mango here. It's Wednesday. We're about to go out for a surf. I just drove from PB to pick my brother and his wife up in this car that Summer's letting us borrow. We had to pick up our MacBook from the Apple store in Fashion, <laughs> Fashion Valley. You know, the Rob Bros have to deal with logistics too, you know. Some people think that our lives are uh, laid out for us, but uh, we have to be very resourceful and very, and very frugal, but we're trying to step into a new way of being these days and investing in ourselves. Because if you're not going to invest in yourself, who's going to invest in you? So we're going to grab this quick surf session, Nate and I, and Daniel's dealing with a little thing on his ankle, he's got a little cut or something. But yeah, I hurt my ankle the other day, see that? They were talking about surfing, and can you get a little view of that? I got a little dirt on it, and uh, that's happened to me before. It's kind of like the, you know, that's like an Achilles. Someone's trying to take me down, they're getting over my Achilles heel. He's putting dirt on it, trying to dry it out, but Nathaniel's a very new surfer, but he's, he's catching on quickly. Today's a pretty big day out there. We're, lo we're looking at sets running from chest high to a little overhead. He's piled on a big board. He's gonna have a lot of waves to battle. I told him to stick with me. Stay close by, by his big bro's side. He'll make it out there to the outside. Yeah, I'm pretty new to surfing. This has been a, a surfing trip for me where I began to become more comfortable out in the ocean. But that's one of the things I like about the ocean is that you never get too comfortable out there. And it's a good way to scare yourself. You know, once you become too comfortable in everyday life, you begin to take things for granted. But when you're out there in the ocean, it's just you and yourself and God, you never, you never know what could happen out there. So I uh, just encourage everyone to make yourselves feel uncomfortable. Try to become, uh, try to put yourself in fearful situations that are safe. You know, there's no really rational fears out in the ocean. The chances of something actually happening are very low, but it is scary. And then when I come back to land, I'm that much more grateful to be on solid ground and in the comfort of my own, my own skin. Yeah, like Nathaniel said, it's making yourself vulnerable and uncomfortable in nature that does a lot for my life, and I think it can for yours too. So no matter where you're at, you can go outside and do something that makes you feel a little less comfortable with your place in life, which will then help you feel happier and more blissful in everyday life. Crazy enough today, I think I'm the most uncomfortable because you know I want to be out there, but I'm going to take time to give whatever God is trying to give me here with this little cut on my ankle and take this as an opportunity. And lucky for these guys, usually no one wants to film when the waves are good, at least especially surfers. So maybe we'll catch them on some good waves. Well, I got some alone time with you guys and those guys are getting ready to paddle out. Laird Hamilton once told us that when you get cut in the water, you gotta stay out of the water. When you get cut on land, it's okay to go back surfing. Anyone else have any tips, tricks, advice for uh, little cuts like that? I know being so far, far away from the heart center that things in your feet and ankles are slower to heal, but um, it's looking better. That, what I did was I went, go, I went surfing after it rained with the cut. And you know that dirty runoff water in Southern California, when it rains, everything dumps into the ocean. So that might have kind of inflamed it a little bit. It's looking better now. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, for what I've eaten today, I know you guys love to know what we eat. I'm getting close to that camera. Uh, this is my uh, third bottle of spring water. So it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm almost about 40 ounces, almost 40 to 50 ounces in on the spring water. Can you hear me or is it too windy? There's some dolphins You're in those waves. Our friends made some juice here with the Green Star. It's celery, cucumber, ginger, lim lemon, apple. apple, and jalapeno. Because you can tell the jalapeno hiccup <laughs> I'm having. 
But yeah, no, we're, we're actually trying to keep track of what we ate today, and this is my first thing out in the water. Oh, you guys all doing that? Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, Did y'all try the water and squatting? Well, yeah, we already um, done some squatting today. Oh, yeah. And uh, we went for a hike this morning. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Do you mind being on camera? She's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah get her. <laughs> get her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there she is. There's a juice maker. Juice maker. I did have carrots in there, too. <laughs> and celery. Oh, and celery. carrots. Sorry. That's yes. good. Yeah, it, looks, it looks Timothy Dow's coffee, look at it. Yeah, well it's in a coffee cup, so yeah. it's a little biased. But yeah, we met Maude and Earl at the uh, the juice meetup that we had right here in Encinitas at uh, Fully Loaded Juicery. And we've been, fr we, we, we made new friends. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do some more meetups. Yeah. Especially in new cities that we go to. Yeah, maybe, heck, maybe we're in Panama City after, after our retreat. Uh, hey, do you know what's, yeah. is this mine right here? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, any one of them. <laughs> It's like the Rob Bros. Look like at the Rob Dogs. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, it's time. Now we're starting to consume. The liquids are gradually getting darker than I'm consuming. It went from water to green juice to this. Bam! Yeah, that's good. That's nice. Anyone else have anything to say about your day? Well, we got out of the ocean, um, eating some chocolate, having some coffee, getting ready to get creative. Okay? Let's be honest, everyone acts like they want to know about our lives, but in reality, they just want to know what we eat on a daily basis. So I just got done with my raw fish pokey rice bowl. It was brown rice poking a big chunk of raw goat cheese. What about you guys? I had the same thing, plus an avocado in there. But no cheese. No cheese, and I'm craving the raw milk. And my question to you is, you know, people see us as uh, fitness slash nutrition specialists because, you know, we have our shirts off and it's inevitable to think that. But how do we transition to more us sharing our real passion, which is our authentic communication and honesty? That's really what we want to share with you. I just want to take this moment to uh, really applaud this guy. Like, <laughs> let, let's give it up for Team Mango. <laughs> let's pretend that you're up there on that stage and Team Mango is you. Give him that sort of applause. Wow. Let's pretend that you are Team Mango <laughs> and that you look like he looks and you put all the effort he has put into his passions. <laughs> We're gonna give it up for this guy. Team like, Mango. That feels really good. Woo! Um, oh yeah, but as you can tell from the background, we're here to get our juice on, and hopefully they have Rob Ross juice. Hopefully they're not out. It's a hot item. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh yeah, and uh, speaking of juice, our friends that made that really spicy green juice with uh, jalapenos, we diluted it with some raw milk and real maple syrup from uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan from their mom's place. Oh, that was good. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. You're looking for Rob Ross juice, by the way. Fully loaded on Highway Coast 101. In Lucadia, and this is how you go. You walk in, you just walk right in. Good, good, good. Yeah, they are. What's up? Yeah, you're good. Good. And then right. you open this door right here, and you find that there's no Rob Rogers. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Oh. It's all about. And this is, you recognize this guy. Here's Kaz. And I actually, while we're talking about Kaz and while we have him on camera, let's give it up for Kaz. Creating this juice shot. Let's go. Let's pretend that we're cats and we're applauding for ourselves up on stage. One more time. He, he's helping this county get healthy and helping to get green. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> They're running low on Rob. I they didn't have Rob Ross juice. I'm going to try this one. I haven't tried the cyclist. Organic cucumber, celery, shard, lettuce, parsley, lemon. And I think they even put sea salt on here. I haven't had this one. It's like a, an electrolyte builder right there. Nothing like not prepared nuts, yeah. you know, but like the the sprout soaked or sprouted, I yeah. do better with. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, you, I think it pretty it much tastes like so fresh earth. earth. Yeah. Should I have some of that? Yeah, try it. Okay. We're doing a little uh, video publicity today. Cool. What did you get? Fully loaded. We got the cyclist Cyclone. here. Oh yeah. I'm doing the purple verde. Mm -hmm. All right. That's nice and green. Like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's refreshing. Cool like cucumber. I've been thinking too much. And it's been bringing me down When I don't So, so sweet. sweet Happy birthday Nathaniel <laughs> Spelled wrong 
No, but. is it really? <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. I A L M A E L. A E L. Yeah. He's the only one I've ever met that's spelled that way. Yeah. Two yeah. nineteen. Just in time. Huh? I love getting cameras shoved in my face right when I get the place. I know. It's a bunt cake. Uh, what is it? A bunt cake. A bunt. A bunt. A bunt. A bunt. So it's upside down. A bunt cake. So. You better sing out, sing out. It is ready. <laughs> Let's get. Let's so you, you flip it upside down. Yeah. The, Whoa! A bunch cake is like already flipped upside down, but they're they're really good. <laughs> That's not for you, Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy's like, I'm gonna give this for myself. For the special. You know me inside out, <laughs> so I can let my failure. Yeah. Oh, you should wear that thing. <laughs> Maybe not poke yourself with that. But. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to feel after you work out. Thank you. I was just talking about um, yeah, I'm what Timothy was talking about. And I don't want to burn my mouth on pizza because it gives you that deceptive, cool feeling on your tongue. And then you bite into it, like, oh, hot sauce and cheese. I've been stoned. I don't know. Burnt, 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 burn